Welcome to the City of Stamford, David Martin, Mayor. Bookmark our website, stamfordct.gov. Find us on social media on Facebook, City of Stamford, on Twitter, at City of Stamford, and on Nextdoor.com. Keep Stamford green. Consider using recyclable carryout bags made of cloth, fiber, or fabric. If you request a paper bag, that paper bag must be 40% consumer recycled content and you will be charged 10 cents per bag. All disposable plastic bags are prohibited. Road construction alerts. Number one, Atlantic Street at the Metro North I-95 underpass. That's closed and there is a detour. Two, Route 1 at I-95, exit 9. There is bridge reconstruction. Third, Long Ridge Road from Erskine to Riverbank Road. That work will begin on April 1st and will run through the summer. Stay prepared during hurricane and winter storm seasons. Sign up for emergency alerts at ctalert.gov and through bepreparedstamford.org. The city's emergency hotline number is 203-977-8840. If you've got a problem and you want it fixed, go to stamfordct.gov slash fix it and report potholes, problems with lights, housing, tree services, or sewers. Reach out to the police at stamfordct.gov slash police. Our non-emergency number is 203-977-4444 and follow us on Twitter Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Reach the fire department at stamfordfire.com. Our non-emergency number is 203-977-5555 and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Need 911? Call if you can. Text if you can't. If you need help but can't safely speak on the phone or are unable to speak, use your mobile phone to send a text message to 911. Stanford EMS provides paramedic transport services for the city of Stanford. Our website is stamfordems.org. Our ambulance stations are located at Longridge Road, Westside Fire Station, Tully Health Center, Glenbrook Fire Department, and 24 Vine Road, and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Connecticut 211 is your connection to the local services you need from utility assistance, food, housing, child care, after school programs, elder care, crisis intervention, and much more. 211 is always ready to assist you to find the help you need. Dial 211 or go to 211ct.org. Starting May 3rd, 2019, plastic disposable carryout bags sold or distributed by a retail establishment in the city of Stamford are banned. Retailers will charge consumers 10 cents for each disposable carryout bag made of paper requested. Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program or a similar government assistant program, those programs are exempt from the charge. The Citizens Emergency Response Team, or CERT, is a group of volunteers who help in medical operations, disaster response, fire safety, search and rescue. Come celebrate CERT Week, June 3rd through the 8th. The city has established a mold task force to address issues in our public buildings, especially our schools. There is an open meeting every Wednesday at 6 p.m. in the Government Center, 
videos and minutes of all meetings are available on the city website. You can email Mold Task Force at stanfordct.gov or call 203-977-4847. The new Westover Magnet School is open. Our address is 1 Elmcroft Road, 4th floor, on the south end of Stamford. You can find us at stamfordpublicschools.org slash westover-magnet-elementary-school. The Stamford Tax Office is located on the 6th floor of the Government Center, 888 Washington Boulevard. You can pay online at stanfordct.gov forward slash tax dash collection. If you have a parking ticket that needs to be paid, you can do it online at stanford.pavvats.com or in person at the cashiering and permitting office in the lobby of the Government Center at 888 Washington Boulevard. The City and Town Clerk's Office is located in the lobby of the Government Center, 888 Washington Boulevard. You can check vital statistics, land records, marriage licenses, and more online at stamfordct.gov forward slash town dash clerk. You can watch all board and commission videos on demand online. Go to stanfordct.gov slash stanford videos to see the Board of Education, Board of Finance, Board of Representatives, Planning Board, Zoning Board, Zoning Board of Appeals, and other boards and commissions. The City's Office of Economic Development has a specific website to help you grow your business in Stanford. Go to ChooseStamford.com. If you've recently moved to Stanford or changed your address, you will need to change your voter registration. Go to VoterRegistration.ct.gov. If you want to know where you vote, go to StanfordCT.gov slash Registrar dash of dash voters. Mill River Park connects people and nature. Go to millriverpark.org and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Enjoy the Stephen and Alexandra Cohen Fountain at Mill River Park this summer. Bring your kids to the Brownstein Selkowitz Carousel Pavilion and Nissen Carousel in Mill River Park. It's open every weekend you can find out more at millriverpark.org forward slash carousel. Stay informed by email. Become an e-subscriber to any of these lists for urgent alerts and news announcements from the mayor's office, the health department, emergency services, public safety and welfare, the building department, engineering department, human resources, or the registrar of voters. Go to stanfordct.gov forward slash subscribe. The Stanford Senior Center is located on the second floor of the Government Center at 888 Washington Boulevard. Go to stanfordseniorct.org and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Stanford Recreation and the Terry Connors Rink have issued their 2009 spring-summer brochure. Go to stanfordrecreation.com. Stanford Recreation has a great opportunity for your business to gain exposure among moms, dads, and kids by sponsoring the Summer of 19 Beach Movie Nights. Email Ashley Cook at A-C-O-O-K-E at stanfordct.gov. The Christina Mygat Recycling Center is open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's located at 130 McGee Avenue. Garbage and recycling are accepted, but you must have residential license plates. There's also a free book swap and a take it or leave it shop. 
You can follow them online at stanfordct.gov forward slash recycling dash and dash sanitation. The 40 member Stanford Board of Representatives works for you and your neighbors. If you're not sure of who represents you, go to boardofreps.org or call 203-977-4024. The Stanford Public Schools provide an education that cultivates productive habits of mind, body, and heart in every student. Go to stanfordpublicschools.org for more information or go to stanfordpublicschools.org slash district slash board of education. There's always something for the whole family at the Stanford Museum and Nature Center. Find us at stanfordmuseum.org. We're located at 39 Schofield Town Road in Stanford. If you live in Harbor Point, don't forget that there is a Harbor Point trolley. It connects Stamford downtown with Harbor Point. Go to hptrolley.com to find out the schedule. The Youth Services Bureau of the City of Stamford provides a youth employment service. Yes, the Youth Employment Service is accessible website built for Stanford's youth ages 16 to 26. Go to stanford-yes.org or you can email office at stanford-yes.org. The Ferguson Library is the heart of the community. There are four branches. The main branch on Broad Street and Atlantic, the South End branch, the Weed Memorial and Hollander branch, and the Harry Bennett branch. Find us at fergusonlibrary.org. Find us on Facebook and Twitter. The City of Stamford, innovating since 1641. Thank you for watching Channel 79.